So I'm going to teach you a very rapid, effective way to release the muscles of the lower leg, which when overly contracted, contribute to plantar fasciitis, heel pain, and foot pain. Rather than stretching the muscles in order to try to relax them, I'm going to teach you how to pendiculate them. Pendiculation is when you tighten the muscle first. This is what wakes it up in the brain's awareness. And then you slowly lengthen it to its full length and then completely relax it. This helps the brain to regain control of the muscle and then to reset the muscle length. So again, we're going to contract the muscle, slowly lengthen it, and then completely relax it. So let's do it. First, place a couple hands underneath your knee to support your knee. So now let's start with flexing the foot. As you flex the foot, you can see the anterior tibialis muscle is nice and tight. Very slowly lengthen that foot and completely relax it. And you'll do that two or three times, making sure that the movement is nice and smooth. Then you're going to point the foot, which will contract the calf. And very slowly ease off lengthening the calf and completely relaxing. And again, you'll do that two or three times, making sure the movement's nice and smooth. Then you're going to invert your foot, that's turning it in, okay? And very slowly, you're gonna work your way out so that you're turning your foot out, okay? Now you're working the sides of the calf. You're everting your foot now, turning it out, and you're slowly, as if scooping with your foot, easing off in the other direction. Now my foot is shaking a little bit, so the, the muscles of, of the lower leg are a little bit tight. Again, you'll scoop inward, and then you'll very slowly scoop outward, come back to neutral, and completely relax. Once you've done that repetition, in and out, oh, two or three times maximum, completely relax your foot, and then maybe shake it just a little bit. And notice the difference in sensation between your right foot and your left foot. This can also be done seated, and I'll show you that in the second lower leg. You're gonna cross one leg over the other, and begin by flexing your foot. You can meet and match resistance with your own hand, okay? That makes your lower leg work even harder, okay? And then you'll slowly ease off, giving just a little bit of pressure with your hand without pushing, but just a little bit of pressure. This adds sensory feedback to the brain, and then you'll completely relax. Again, you'll do that a couple of times, contracting into your hand, contracting the muscle of the lower leg, the anterior tibialis, slowly easing off to full length and completely relaxing. Then you'll point your foot, press down into your hand, meet and match resistance with your hand and your foot, and very slowly ease off. Here you're pendiculating the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle, and you'll do that several times. Pointing down into your hand and very slowly easing off. Again, your hand is only there for sensory feedback and guidance. Then you will evert your foot, that's turning it out. Now you're working the outside of your calf, meet and match resistance on the outside of your foot with your hand, and very slowly, as if you're doing a half circle, you're easing off, it's like a scooping action. Coming back to neutral, and relax. Repeat that a couple of times. And now, scooping inward, that's called in inverting your foot, and you'll meet and match resistance on the inside. You'll feel this in the bottom of your foot and you'll feel this in your, in your lower leg muscles. And slowly easing off, scooping outward, and sorry, let me reposition here. You might get uncomfortable, so you might need to reposition. Turning inward and slowly easing off outward, okay? And then shake that foot a little bit, relax, and there you go.